What's up guys, this is Bubba TV 24 and today I'm playing a game called Q Clash. This is essentially Overwatch or Paladins or Team Fortress in Roblox. So we are going to be playing a round here. It is essentially the same sort of game. You have to either hold like a King of the Hill type game mode or you got to push an objective. I'm playing a character who is called uh, Zadina. Which is like a, I, I don't know, basically a healer. This is, if you've ever played like Overwatch, something like that, it's like a mix between Mercy and then the the uh, the Medic from Team Fortress 2. You might not have ever played those games, but essentially this character has a staff that can heal teammates with a uh, right click and also can do damage with this electrical shock here. Also has a, um, oh gosh has a way of getting in and out with using shift so I am playing on uh, mouse and keyboard here so if you use shift you can actually um, fly around you can get out of danger by it, uh, it zooms you forward so we're gonna actually do some damage to this guy here Oop, I got killed by I don't know who it didn't show me that's okay let's get over there Ooh, heal this guy so I'll show you everything here in the middle. I am a uh, an avid Overwatch player when I'm not playing things like um, Roblox and some other games. Well, I shouldn't say avid, but I have played a lot of Overwatch in my time. And so I understand uh, a bit of how this is going to work. Um, but right now I am basically playing the healing role. And when you're playing a class that's a healing class, your main focus is always on healing your teammates. Never focus on damage unless you're supposed to focus on damage. Unless you absolutely have to, like right there. Um, so I have played my fair share of Mercy and I am, I'd like to think I'm pretty decent with Mercy. So I'm very familiar with uh, how a game like this is supposed to be played at least. Um, whether or not I will play it well is a different story. But it looks like here you can overcharge stuff. So. Uh, right click for this character will heal. Uh, you can see I'm giving this character extra, my teammate, extra health. And left click will do damage. If I shift, I will fly forward. And if uh, in the middle there it says 99%. If I do that, I will get my ultimate, which gives me a... Um, it basically gives me... Uh, and my friend here, not in vulnerability, but extra, like, damage protection, and I think he gets a damage buff and stuff like that, so we can take out enemies more quickly. The whole point of this game mode is to get the cart all the way to the end, so that's a thing that we can do. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, we'll play some other characters after this one to see how this goes, but he pretty much, uh, it's kind of the, um... The thing for games like this is you kind of need people to uh, always be healing or tanking or doing damage. Oh, I have been arrested. I don't. I guess I can't do anything. Okay. Um, I think this game is still in like a, a beta stage. I think it's still being tested technically, but um, you know, honestly, for the state that it's in. It's not really that bad. It also looks like that if I heal, like if you are not taking damage for a certain amount of time, you will also just heal your health back. So it's kind of like Paladins in that regard. Um, but if you are, uh, let's see, if you're also um, healing, you also heal yourself uh, as well as your teammate. So we're gonna get off me, fool. Get off me, fool. Help, help me. Come on, DPS, do your job. Deeps him. There we go. Get on that point. That's how this game is played. We got to be on the point to keep it moving. Here we go. All right, here we go. We got to get across the bridge, and then we should win. Uh, I have tried out the um, what is it? He's this guy right here that I'm healing. He is a uh, like a soldier type character who has a grenade and a machine gun and he's pretty much your character that you would use if you're like new to this sort of game and uh, oh, we're gonna go ahead and just do that and basically the way it work is you use this character if you you're new to first person shooters 
and you want to uh, learn to play them or you're trying to get, you know, you need a character to be familiar with and that's the I character that he is. Strength. Come on, go get him. Although, the thing is, this isn't about getting kills. So yeah, getting uh, eliminations and, and, and beating enemies is one of the good things that you want to do because it's very important. Uh, the problem is that it's not all about that. It is about getting the objective to the end. And if you can facilitate that by helping your team do do just that, then that's how you win. And we're about to get to a checkpoint here, it looks like. So there's a checkpoint. Here we go. Checkpoint get. And we are going to push this boy into the hopefully the final area. So it's going to be more difficult to do. That is a turret. Great. That I can't do anything about. Uh, I don't know if I can actually kill that turret. Okay, so next game I will try a different, they call them clashers, but basically a different hero. And I'm also going to turn the volume up because this is not very loud. There we go. So we're going to take a look here. Now it's our turn to defend. So we have one healer, which is kind of a bummer. There's only one healer in the game, which I don't really like. There is this guy right here. Rascal, he's a defense character. Uh, we will try him. He's got like this shotgun thing. The the sound in this game is a little off. Um, so right click does like a shotgun. Left click does just a regular shot. He has a uh, bounce pad that you can just jump on and it shoots you. He also has a turret, which I'll show you here in a little bit. The turret will electrocute people that come into range and um, I guess that's really that's really all there is to it. So, okay. We have to go and defend against these guys. So, we're going to do that. Some of these maps, I would say, probably need to be looked at. Um, there is a, a mode where it's basically taking the point. Uh, you have an A, B, and a C point you need to take. And I would say that they probably need to look at how those points are accessed because... You need multiple routes of entry so that you can formulate plans. And it's kind of hard to do that when you only have one direction you can go. Okay. Here we go. So she's down. Turret shooting. Keep going, turret. There we go. Someone Triple KO. There we go. Double KO. Wait, KO squared. What does that even mean? Go, turret, go. Keep shooting him, turret. Yeah, go, turret. Oh, jeez. We're getting out of there. I have 30 health. Oh, is my turret still doing it? Yeah, they haven't even hurt my turret. I'm just going to sit here and heal for a minute then. Because that's amazing. I've already killed 10 people. Now, if you're on defense, killing people is the thing to do. That is exactly what you want to be doing. Got a nice little shield here. Go and just eliminate her. There we go. So we're going to blow through his shield. There we go. So shield's almost down. Turret's still shooting. This is this is actually uh, pretty... Oh, no. I, I died. I fell off the map. This is actually fairly well done. I would say that the sounds probably need to be changed a little bit because in something like Overwatch, sound is incredibly important. Triple KO. So being able to hear where the enemies are and what they're doing that kind of thing is really really important to do so I my turret is still shooting people it looks like yep just got another kill <laughs> they are just um lining up double KO I'm not even there and I'm just defeating people Torbjorn for the wind is what is his name was this guy I don't even know what this guy's name is oh I went the wrong way didn't I great um another thing that they should probably do is tell me which direction the line is going on the ground um, so that I know which way to run okay I have my ultimate oh my turrets finally down 
Okay, so here's somebody. There, here they are. They're coming for the. Uh... So this guy's just—he's just sitting there. Boy, I'm not gonna let you win. What do you think you're doing? All right. I'm just gonna sit here and shoot you, man. Shoot that! Shoot that! Uh, shield. <laughs> you wish, dude. There we go. So the soldier guy can call in like an airstrike, although when I played him, it wasn't very, um, it really wasn't that good, or at least it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. They very much set it up like the guy from Paladins, uh, Victor, I guess, if, if I remember correctly. But the problem is that it's supposed to lock on to this, um, it's supposed to lock on, but it really doesn't. Oh, so, okay, so we got this, um, character called Reaper, who is a, uh, sniper, uh, teleporting sniper, basically. Hello. There go my there goes my turret. Triple KO baby. Triple baby. Oh man. Okay, so teams are unbalanced, maybe rebalanced shortly. So here we go. Do what you gotta do, but right now I'm level four. I have twenty two eliminations. I've done a lot of damage and um I'm doing so much stuff right now. We are just destroying this poor team. Level 5, BB! By the king's grace, give me strength. No. We're good. Immortal, we have 13 seconds to finish this. And uh, I don't know what the uh, the turret range is. So I don't know how far away it can be before it um, starts shooting at someone. But... We won! That is a win! 2-0, two to, two to, oh, guys. Yeah! It's pretty good. Whoever came up with this game, uh, Duck Armor, it's really good. It's well done, guys. Um, you know, work on some things, and I think you guys have are going to have something really good. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see more of it, you want to see different heroes being played, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I've been BubbaTV24, and I'm signing out.